Hey guys, Michael with the GM's Library here, and I am working on a really complex map at the moment. So here's what I have so far. Uh, specifically, <laughs> the adventure that I'm running is the uh, the Tyranny and Flan. My party is um, there might be some spoilers, so if you haven't played or you you seriously mind <laughs> some spoilers, then. Um, Pardon those noises, uh, then you know. But my my party is is currently in the sewers, and they are about to leave the sewers um, into the spillway that goes into the river. It seems like every time I record videos, I have people revving their engines, <laughs> riding motorcycles up and down the road. But okay, so so far I did a little experimenting because I'm trying to play with depth and uh, multiple um, uses of stone and, and what I can use. So this section specifically is the, the river, which I have to line up here. Um, they'll be coming out of this main center tunnel. Uh, I have the, the sewer water running down into the river. There are three holes and it's, it's a nice wide battleground. Um, it's supposed to run down at a, at a slight slope and this is supposed to be a little higher. I am not sure how to add a sense of height to this. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm gonna, you know, just roll with it and see what, what looks nice. So I need to kind of bridge the sewers up, add a couple of spaces for encounters and an entry. So I've been using uh, a bunch of different um, texture choices um, so this is pretty much hmm. so these sewer tiles are, are what I've been using here so what I know is it's about 15 feet wide each block is 5 feet in my head originally it was much less maybe 5 um, it could still be narrow in certain cases and that's fine but um, I want to have um, a bunch of different paths um, all right so we'll, you know we'll pretend that's a path um, we've got this this green stuff running through right down the middle um, and we'll see what we can do here um, there might be points where I just get quiet, and I'm so sorry, I want to keep this interesting for you guys, but uh, I, I get lost in it. So, you know, I want to imagine that there's, you know, these little, uh, like this is kind of a, a spot that you can cross over, uh, and then you have all of this, this crap water coming through, and, uh, crossing over the, um, I need to be a little bit more, um, uniform with each other. One, two, one, two. Okay. That actually feels good. Every, every two we can have, uh, okay. All right. That does not look bad. Okay. Cool. 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 All right. So the sewers are not that big. Um, however, um, what I ran, I, I ran the session introducing them or getting them into the sewers last week. So tonight, I, the, the focus is really on this big fight scene here. Everyone's kind of waiting in this spillway. Um, but I'm, I'm not quite ready to add this. I, I want to make sure that I have the, the sewers ready so that, you know, people can make use of this map in the future. So we'll say that this does go a little bit further. I'll add the, uh, the sewer water in a little bit, maybe even into a, a nice large room. have this set on a, on a very, on a very, uh, small, um, 
cursor <laughs> size, I suppose. Um, because uh, if I do too big, it starts getting pixels that I don't want, and then it's, it gets a little frustrating. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 by 36 by about um, 30. So that's that's not bad. This, this could be a good encounter here. I have um, one room, so they're kind of guiding a bunch of civilians out. So I have one room where there are these um, kobolds just eating uh, some bodies and you know that's obviously kind of nasty but maybe we can also have this kind of running off a little bit more uh, okay actually this this could be really interesting here Say that that's kind of just another place for the uh, the water to run out, and maybe it even connects to to this hole. I want to keep this this dark because um, it kind of signifies a a dark passageway. Um, maybe I'll even just I use this brick because I thought it would be a good idea, but maybe I'll make it more uniform here. This could be one where if the party accidentally falls into this, maybe it's a, it's a rougher flow. I'm not sure. Um, and let's fix that one. And then this one we can make a little bit further out, maybe into the city or something. I wouldn't mind making it kind of weird, weird and interesting. I didn't really have a, a lot of time to, to think out any any little side stories like any thieves guild or, or people lurking down here. Um, but let's kind of arc here, we're gonna go up fall up a little bit more and that'll be that'll be the entry um, I'm not entirely familiar with how sewer systems work so all of this water this gunk I don't know where it's coming from um, but I'm gonna say that it's coming out of you know this area here. Maybe it's a maybe it's like a nasty hole. I don't know. And this will this will have to connect somehow. Okay. That will do for now. It, it looks like a nice little, <laughs> nice little hot tub. You could always throw a chest in some treasure, some, some swamp creatures, I suppose. Um, my party did have an encounter, where, um, you know, my my one, my one person, my my one <laughs> party member has this, this weird relationship with a demon. He's not a warlock, um, but this demon is grateful to him for uh, quote releasing him or releasing her from from the you know the the hell I suppose uh, she does not know that he did not purposely do it but she is still grateful so she kind of took him over here and, and gifted him with some stuff so this is probably where that'll take place this looks messy I do know that this looks messy I think it's all of this stone here I wonder if I go like this, if that'll look any better. If I make it a little bit more uniform. I'm gonna say yes. I'm, I'm gonna say it does look a little bit better. So we'll, we'll keep that as is for now. Um, all right. 
Yeah, this is going to be one of those longer, no, not long, but this is going to be one of those more in-depth videos. I'm, I'm probably not going to do a lot of sticker stuff and, and item placement, maybe some bodies, but um, nothing too wild here. All right, so they come in and it's probably just going to be a murky pathway, probably a little eerie, but this is where the actual... Um, stuff will, will begin to, or the, the sewer water will begin to come out. Oh, I made a mistake there. Okay. One, two, one, two, okay. All right, so we can say that it's kind of coming from up there, right? Or maybe not. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll let them use their own creativity. Uh, here it looks like it's, it was supposed to look like it was coming down from the wall. But now that I kind of play with it more, I don't know if I like what I did. Okay, we'll, we'll keep it as is. It, it looks too nasty to be sewer water. I don't know if I love the green. I might change it to a light blue. It just looks so nasty. Well, no, you're right, you're right. The, the sewer water has to be murky and nasty. I just am personally not the biggest fan. So now we'll get a nice cobblestone, um, maybe like a dirt. A dirt would be fine. Um, not that kind of dirt. Let's go back to the cobblestone to make it look like it's the. Uh, this kind of goes off into. Um, it goes off into a street. All right, and then we'll open it up with the uh, with the same entryway. I know how awkward that looks, but this is that entryway that you kind of come in, and it kind of matches the entryway or the the exit way that you come out of. Um, so I need to fix this water up here. Instead of using the, the grid, I'm going to attempt to keep this nice and small, but not too small. Um, a little bit bigger than that, yeah. Okay. Just want to add some some shape a little bit more naturally here. Okay. So they are going to be, uh, well, uh, we need some sand, right? A nice sandy shore. It looks okay. Maybe we can mix that in with some dirt here. Some dirt and grass. Ooh, actually. All right. I've got it. I've got it. So obviously this is all, all sewer system. However, we are going to want... Oh, that was a little too strong. It came in too strong there. This is a, a long undo. All right, so I'm going to go with this one. We're going we're gonna to go a little bit smaller here. We're going to kind of fade in the grass. Now these, uh, it's not going to be perfect. It doesn't really have to be. Okay, all right, so we got some grass. Um, my, I'm thinking, you know, it kind of blends in with this, this grass as it approaches the sand. I'm going to round it off a little bit too. You know, that looks a lot better than I thought it was going to come out. I really hope that it blends well with the sand. I know it's probably going to look better if we blended it with... Actually, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now I'll have to go back over the uh, the sand with the water. Because, um, you know, these lines don't look great. But All right. And let's get the other side. 
my positioning while I do this is not perfect. I'm, I'm excited to, you know, up my professional <laughs> touch and use actual, um, an actual table or a desk so that I, you know, can make this look a little bit better. All right. It doesn't have to be flawless, but uh, again, I, I apologize for those those noises, I, I live in a loud area. All right, so we're just gonna try and clean this up a little bit. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Uh, you know, the, the sand kind of comes over the water and then it just fades in a weird way, but that looks better. Maybe we'll create a harder line here. Got dogs barking outside. Okay. All right. One more. One more layer there. Fix that up a little bit. Okay. So maybe even the sand and grass kind of um, are at the same level as the stone platform here, and this just spills in. It's uh, supposed to be a 20-ish foot drop in my head. Um, but I'm thinking I might make this a little bit larger here. Um, no, maybe 10 feet is enough. Yeah, maybe I'll stick with the 10 feet. I'll just clean up my, my lines here. Okay, okay, so far, so good. Um, I have an idea. I am not sure how this is going to work. Uh, I'm thinking about for a wave effect, kind of splashing up some water on here. What the heck did I do? City was just a little too low, but I'm kind of just splashing that up a little bit. Okay, that looks okay. I, I don't know if I'm just looking for like a blended look. I'm not sure, but we'll leave that for now. I, it'll have to do. I, I really like what I did here. This I just still feel like it, it's missing. Like the, the texture, it just looks too. I don't know. I don't know. What am I missing here? Well, here's texture. Tiles. We could add cracked ground just for effect, but that wouldn't actually help in what I'm trying to do. Um, I know I said I wouldn't do this, but let's look at the stamps. Just, just for fun. Let's see what we can work with here. Tentacles would be nice. We could add, not waves, but... I, I, I just wonder if, if I add like this here, if it makes it look like it's moving downward. You know, it's not perfect, but... Okay. And then it will open up into either sea waves or these like ripple kind of things. I need nice round looking ones. Um, maybe this one here. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's really good. It looks like a really, the problem I have is it looks like a waterfall. Uh, it is not supposed to look like a waterfall. Um, and that kind of goes with the, the slope that I'm trying to give. It's just, uh, it's not working for me, but 
it's kind of what I have to just deal with. Um, now this is not for my people. This this is going to be for you guys. Anyone who actually wants to download um, this map, uh, imagine that there is some kind of thieves guild presence in your sewer system. Uh, you know they're going to have to have a, a small base of operations. So maybe we will include something like that. I think this was on like a six before, so I can deal with a five. I'm thinking like a, uh, oh, what was it called? The, the ragged, ragged flag, flagon from Skyrim and Riften. So this is actually looking pretty good. It's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 45. Let's add a little more. So it's 50 by 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 40, 40, 60. So about 50 by 60, right? Like, that's, that's not a bad idea. Okay. All right. I've got a move coming up, and I'm hoping that the uh, the new place will be a little bit more um, a little bit more quiet. All right, so we've got this door. It's probably uh, probably strange for any travelers that are you know coming across this wooden door in a. Uh, in the sewers, but okay. I need wooden walls, so wooden walls, wooden walls too. I kind of like these a little bit better. Um, all right, let's see. I'm thinking about just breaking off some living spaces here. Like a like a bathroom shower area. All right, and then we need those horizontal walls. Okay, and we need the. Door here. I know with the the walls it doesn't look great. Maybe I should actually take these and just use the. You know, I'm getting yelled at to save. All right, we'll go with this one here. All right. Tavern beds are usually my go-to. I feel like in this case they'd probably be broken, maybe. No, that's too broken. We'll go with unmade. A nice slimy yellow color. Uh, you probably have a lot of people staying in these areas. To make it kind of work with, uh, I wonder if I can actually add a couple more beds in here. Six will have to be enough for now. I know this is not ideal. Maybe you know what? Let's let's do let's do some tweaking again. Maybe I can do all horizontal here. All right, so if I go like that, because it kind of has to accommodate a bunch of people. Hmm. 
you know what? I've, I've figured it out. I figured it out. I need to expand things. I need to expand things by uh, about five feet. We, we have the space, so we might as well use it. I'll just, we'll just get rid of that wall entirely. Just the uh, the doors. It's tight, but it'll have to do. We can even pretend that these are bunk beds. Especially if everybody in the, uh, in the area is going to be staying in them. beds are kind of crammed in there. This isn't uh, the ideal place to live. Um, we're not using a circular table, we're going to be using a long table. My head is telling me that there has to be a fireplace. I'm thinking about it. Realistically, where would the, the, the smoke be drained to, you know? All right. If not a fireplace, at least uh, a small fire with a, with a cooking spot. Is this a little, little messy and disheveled, right? Like. They're not too worried about tucking the chairs in. And whatever food we put there is going to have to be Lit. There are people there tending to it, so um, I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, so we got the fire. We do need a little bit of food. Broken 
food sacks. All right, where would their food supply be? Would they have a pantry? Would they have a closet? Or would it kind of just be tossed in a corner? Mm. Probably tossed in a corner. Rotten food. Oh, that sucks, but it feels relevant. All right, let's put some plates down. sausages, the occasional rotten pie, um, but it can't all be rotten. We need the candles. I need them. Uh, maybe, maybe some eggs. They are close to a river, so let's put the, the food into this corner here. All right, so we got some, got some fish. We've got, we've got crates of it. Is that a lot of fish? Probably. All right. Um, just for the sake of of my thinking, um, I want to include a table here where they prepare the foods. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be five feet. But I do want it there. All right, so um, maybe some families um, managed to. Uh, Get out there and get some apples. Oh wait, there's more than just apples. Bread's always a good call. Let's add some bread. Now it's starting to look like they're good on food, so I might leave it as is for now. The food is fine. Um, there are not be animals, right? No horses. No wizardry stuff. Maybe some broken potion bottles, but. Ruins, dungeons, probably no corpses here. Probably no chests as well. Um, oh, sewer stuff. Oh, okay. We'll have to come back and look at these. Because this is kind of huge. Oh, the grates. Oh, yes, yes. We'll definitely have to come back. Sewer roots. Oh, yeah. We need the rodents, right? However, we're going to boost that size a little bit. All right, it's not going to be, you know, a giant sewer rat, but... be enough for a general um, sewer community. I, I do want to come back to the sewer section here. Um, I like these, these broken sewer gates. This is going to be important in about five seconds for right here. All right, so let's shrink that down to the Perfect, perfect, okay, okay. Um. <laughs> okay. I am obviously guiding them down one path. It really does not matter. They end up in the same place, but for the aesthetic, I'm into it, I'm into it. I love this so far. Um, I wonder if I can use any of these to create the, the depth field that I'm looking for. Oh, 
I wish that I knew about this in the beginning because some of this is really, really nice. So maybe I'll add this, these archways just for the look of it. Um, Just can't have them blocking the actual uh, the actual walkway. All right. So at the beginning and the end of of the hallways. Doesn't look like it's overly done, so I'll keep it. Um, that'll close sewer pipes. Well, this is just pretty much exactly what I made, but without the work. All right, what kind of waterfalls we got here? I actually I accidentally dropped one. So we'll say that this is actually a uh, a waste. Waterfall. Right in the middle. And then we'll add those waves, those ripples that we saw before. Where the heck were they? Over here. Imagine a whirlpool. I'm so sorry. That's a terrible idea, but. far it's not looking terrible I might need to add more of these these waves in a hot minute but we'll see there probably wouldn't be any lit torches in the area um, we could add some sewer roots some fungus Fungus be growing maybe in the the actual I wonder if any of my party would actually be willing to to harvest any of it. I'm gonna kind of put it in the corners here. I don't think they'll notice it, it's so small, but why, why not, you know? All right, let's actually up the, the size of that a little bit. Yeah, like that. Good on the on the produce for now. I just want to look at these roots. Nah, we don't need that. All right, so we got the roots, we got the grates, we got the, the rats and stuff. Anything else here? It's probably not a prison down there. Death pudding, death traps. Never a bad idea. Go back here just for a second, um, because I do have this 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 spot here that I don't really know what to do with. The sewers itself are not complicated; it's kind of just more of a long, scary journey. Um, I think. 
think it'd be most practical just to have another room here. Another creepy ass room with some uh, funky water in it. And kind of just leave it to, uh, you know, you, the DM, who, whoever's going to be using it. Gotta be centrally located with smaller ripples on this one. Okay. I'm not using a lot of this space, but I'll take it. I'll take it anyway. So this is where the big fight is. This is the important part. What am I missing? Hmm. Um, I do have an idea actually. I think I'm going to bring this out a little bit more. Um, um, bring it out a little bit more so that it looks as if it kind of goes into the water. So maybe I can add another one here with less, maybe I'll do like 68, no, I'll do 40, so it looks like it goes under the water a little bit, but I think we're going to do a little bit more, maybe down to, dare I, be so bold to say 30 and then another one at maybe 15 okay it looks like it's kind of fading a little a little bit lower so I'll take it um, it might just be my my poor art skills that are preventing me from being able to the characters on there it'll have to just be I wish I could add a shadow for this at least that would that would add a little bit I wonder if I can add shadows uh, add a new filter no there is still the possibility of me doing it with Shadow. Okay. All right. Let's let's give this a shot. We're gonna make it a healthy twenty. Um, hmm. Let's go with a healthy fifty. The shadow effect is there. So we're assuming that the sun is, is here, kind of casting the shadow out. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. Doesn't look perfect, but I'll take it. 
Maybe I'll even add a uh, a light. Um, a light effect coming from this direction here. Um, so we'll say it's exactly here. It's no. I'm just being silly now. I'm just trying to. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yes, that's just me being silly. Um, so, here we have the sewer entrance on the top. Um, let's just throw that in there. Go with uh, uh yes, this one. This one is, is a nice one. Um no, this is the one I like. Okay. a mistake. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to call this area the spillway. Alright guys. I know that there's probably a lot that I'm missing. So, um, please uh, comment, <laughs> let me know what you'd like to see in, in this sewer, I'll probably be doing a lot more of these, but um, like and subscribe, I appreciate you guys watching, thanks.